Hello friends, today we will look into what is bud blast or blossom drop and the signs and symptoms to diagnose the common reasons to premature flower or bud drop off and the solutions to this problem that's coming up. Welcome back. If you are a hobby gardener or interested in growing plants, consider subscribing to this channel. Also turn on the notification bell icon and you won't miss anything. Every single bud in your garden is like a little promise from your plants. But when these buds collapse for no reason, it may bring tears in gardener's eyes. So what is a bud blast? Bud blast is a term used to describe flowers that have prematurely aborted before or soon after opening. That means premature bud drop off. What causes this premature bud blast in flowers? The good news is that the most common factors involved in this bud blast are environmental factors and hence can be easily diagnosed and treated. Just analyze the causes that I shall be listing out now and find out which one is fitting to your plan and then solve your problem. So let's list out the causes of this problem one by one. The first reason is water stress. Improper watering causes a great deal of stress to the plants. Underwatering may cause plants to redirect water from enlarging buds to the food producing areas of the plant. This is an act of self preservation by the plant and overwatering often leads to root rot or other fungal infections that may destroy the developing flower buds. Now the solution to this problem. Always water the plants when the top one or two inches of the soil is dry and add a thick layer of mulch to keep moisture levels more even. You can watch my separate video on what is mulching and what mulching materials you can use for mulching your plants. Find the link at the top right corner of this video. But let's first complete this topic. The second reason is the temperature extremes. Extremes in temperature can influence the bud development. When temperatures fluctuate, the plants get stressed and they respond by dropping their buds and flowers in an attempt to survive or in an attempt to conserve energy. The solution to this temperature problem is moving your plant may solve the problem. If it is winter, you can start covering them with polythene covers by making small holes in the polythene covers. Or you can also use some support sticks or even garden trellis and then wrap around some blanket or even a polythene cover to provide the correct temperature as required, especially in night time. Then the third reason is pest attacks. Pests also can cause bud drop off, especially in hibiscus plant. Insects like aphids, which are small uh, sucking insects that can uh, cluster on the uh, new growths and buds of the uh, plant. They are easily visible and can be easily diagnosed and can be controlled with any general purpose insecticide. You can watch my separate video on how to control aphids and white flies after you finish the video from a link at the top right corner of this video. If you cannot control organically, then you can use azathion or malathion organophosphorus chemical spray to control these pests. Then the fourth reason is wrong lighting. This is also connected with temperature extremes. Light has a direct effect on how well the plant can produce food and survive. Often buds fail when high light plants are in low light settings and vice versa. That is plants uh, accustomed to low light conditions may overheat in direct sun causing the buds to fall off. Move these plants to more appropriate lighting conditions. One hint here you can follow is avoid direct sunlight exposure during noon that is when the sun is at its peak. Then the fifth reason is humidity. Insufficient humidity can interfere with proper bud development. Also when humidity fluctuates considerably then it will lead to bud drop off. If you want to increase humidity, you can make a humidity tray and place your container on this. Simplest humidity tray consists of some small pebbles in a tray filled with water, which can increase the humidity around your plant. Then the sixth reason is if the plant is too young. Younger plants often lack the root structure to support blooms and this might also lead to aborted blossoms. Then the seventh reason is recent repotting or even transplantation. What you can do in this case is 
pick any blossoms off the plant to allow the root system to develop better before permitting it to bloom again. Then the eighth reason is transportation of the plant which can be another reason that can be considered for the buds falling off because of the weakening of the plant due to stress of transportation. So there we have it folks that was our episode on the reasons and solutions to the problem of premature buds falling off. If you have some more tips please suggest them in the comment section below the video. Also give a thumbs up if you like the video and consider subscribing to the channel if you are new to the channel. Happy gardening!